we are really making a conscious effort. We really try to think of everything imaginable that uh, would prepare us and be ready. Uh, and frankly, you know, um, it's two years in, and I, I, I'm speaking truthfully. Immediately, I saw the lack of presence from the party, especially downstate, and uh, just the, the need for resources. So it's, we're on it. We're on it. Okay. I represent a portion of Cook County, and that part of my district and the surrounding areas, voters are moving towards us. They have had enough of the constant corruption in, in Cook County and the city of Chicago, all run by Democrats, and that is pushing them towards the Republican Party. What we have to do is make sure that we continue to operate as a big tent and pull these people in. Don't push them away, pull them in, and uh, that's ongoing. The somewhere someone high up in the state need to donate to campaigns like mine that, you know, because we're we need the Democrat candidates have a lot of funding. We if we had the funding or at least 10 percent of their funding, we could do some advertisement and it would help get our name out. Because a lot of people last year when I in 2022, I ran and I was knocking on doors that where they had already mailed in their ballot because they didn't know they hadn't they didn't know me. But I can only meet reach so many houses walking door to door. So if if you that that's the biggest thing, the biggest way that the Republican Party can help is donate to your um, the candidates running. No, the, I think the Republican Party right now is in a growth phase in the city of Chicago, Cook County. This is an area where we are growing more of a presence. We need to. That work is ongoing right now. What you're going to see in future elections is, you know, more resources put into actually getting candidates on the ballot for the primary rather than using the mechanism that is going to be uh, expiring after this election cycle.